Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a summer home tour for the year of 2020. So I did a spring home tour a couple of months ago and you guys seem to really like the simple and clean style that we have going on in our home. And since that video, we have done several just minor updates, but I wanted to show those to you guys and just how I transition my decor from spring to summer. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's go ahead and jump into it. So the first room I wanted to show you guys is my living room because this is the room that you walk into first whenever you walk into my home. So as soon as you walk in, we have this hall tree here. We love this thing and it gets used every single day. But you guys will notice if you are new to my channel that we just like to keep our decor very simple and very clean and just not a lot of clutter. So if you did watch my spring home tour, you will probably also notice a few other pieces that were in that video as well, like these wooden candlesticks. So on the top here, I just have the candlesticks, a couple of faux plants that we picked up from Ikea a couple of years ago, and then that was a little canister there. But that is all that we have on this piece. I know it doesn't look like much, but like I said, we just love to keep our decor very clean and simple. Moving on into the room, I didn't really do much to this console table. I'm honestly still trying to figure out what I'm wanting to do with that part, but moving on, I do have an accent wall. We actually have two accent walls in our living room now, so you guys will see that in a little bit here, but this accent wall has been one of the favorite walls of mine in our living room. And all I have here is just a boho hanger that I have had for a couple of years. I like to just switch those out each season. And then also along with some pillows here on this bench. So this pillow, if you watched my spring home tour, used to be on our couch. It was actually purchased at Walmart this year for about $13. And whenever we purchased our couch, it actually came with that black and white pillow. So I kept that because I do really like the way that it looks. But this summer, I decided to add in some amber bottles and also some palm leaves. So we do have kind of a boho styled how, like home going. And I really like the palms. I think it, it kind of just ties in the look that we're going for. So I have that there sitting on a little stand along with a succulent next to it. And these are just some little shadow boxes and picture frames that I also like to keep faux succulents in. And I just really think that it's just a simple and clean look and just ties it together. So this is a reveal for the accent wall, the second accent wall actually, that we have in our living room. I have been wanting to do something with this wall forever now, and this was honestly the simplest project. So all we did was paint about three quarters of the way up of the wall with this midnight gray shade of paint, and we kept the top portion the same as the rest of the living room. My husband just placed a board up there and stained it. And then on the top, I have two chargers. The dark ones are actually chargers from Hobby Lobby, the spring shop line this year. I got them 50% off and I think it was about $5 a piece for those. All he did was place a nail in the center of them because there's not exactly anything to hook them on because they are chargers. But I also have this large lighter colored basket in the center that I've had hanging up there forever. But on the wood we decided to go ahead and order these hooks so we got these off of amazon and they were very affordable i will have them linked down below but we have a back door that it seems like friends and family enter in all the time and so we just wanted something that was functional for this space that we could hang coats on and bags and things of that sort so i'd also been looking for a bench for this part and I honestly found this at a yard sale, so it was $30, it does have storage in the bottom, and it was a complete steal. And on the top of that, all I have placed is a pillow, and you guys know my love for pillow covers, so that is a pillow cover from Hobby Lobby. Mm -hmm. 
and moving on to the next section of the living room so you guys will probably notice that we painted another wall it is actually picking up more green but it is the same color that was on the accent wall that i just showed you guys a minute ago it is that midnight gray color and it's this is just the wall behind our couch so one of the newer things that I have placed in this corner is my new snake plant. So this thing is pretty big and I have discovered a love for indoor plants recently. So I just added him over there inside of that little basket on the table. And I think it just does something for the space. It just fills it nicely. And I think it just looks really, really good there. So moving on to our entertainment center area, I haven't changed anything over here really since the spring. All I did was add in a new throw blanket and that is the top one there on the top of the ladder. It's just the striped blanket, but this you guys is, I love it. I think it turned out so well. It makes our couch pop so well and I think it just looks so good. So it is amazing what paint can do. We spent no money on this other than the paint that we purchased and I think it just completely transformed the room. So if you guys watched my spring home tour, you will know that I, like I said, I do love pillow covers. So this is another pillow cover this is just something that I like to do to save money and also have extra storage space because all you have to do is zip them off and fold them up and it takes up hardly any space at all when it comes to storing them. So you can purchase those on Amazon or at Hobby Lobby and I honestly got those from Hobby Lobby and you can sometimes get them on super sale. So that one was 50% off and I spent $8.99 on it. And here is another one of our Ikea plants. So I shared some hacks in my spring home tour and I said that you guys can just place these in different little planters to kind of mix them up. And I decided to just leave this one as is and place it on this wooden bowl. We have had this for a couple of years now and I purchased it from Ross for $12.99 like you guys see there. But we just love the raw elements and just different textures in our home. So I really like this placed on the coffee table. and more pillow covers you guys i got these on super sale so like i said not only does hobby lobby have them 50 percent off on occasion but you can also get them at really really reduced prices so one of these was 4.99 and the other one was 4.50 so you cannot beat it so right above the couch we haven't really changed much but like i said just the paint alone made a world of a difference all I did was place this little ceramic pitcher on the top that used to be in my kitchen and I had some faux lavender in it but I really liked the bronzy tone that it added and I think it looks really good up against the magnolia wreath and the wall so all I did was add that to the shelf and other than that this whole space is the exact same aside from the paint color. And now moving into our dining room area. So I always like to keep some sort of centerpiece on the dining room table. And around the fall and also Christmas time, I do like to have place settings just to have that extra special spark, I guess. But anyway, I still have this same table runner. I purchased this this year from the Hobby Lobby spring shop line and um, all I did was change the centerpiece so I have this faux palm and this came from Target last summer it was on clearance I think I purchased it for $7.50 and it was originally $25 so that is one thing that I really like to do is just hit up the clearance section at the end of each season to store up for the next year so just a hack for you guys but that is where that came from and I just have it placed on a charger with the wooden beads around it. I do like to keep my centerpieces low simply because 
When you walk in our home, I do like for people to see this accent wall that we have in our dining room. So this is another one of those statement pieces that we really, really love. And all I have done to this space recently is add this chest. So we have had this for years now, and it's actually just been in a storage room of ours. But we are currently preparing for our second little boy to arrive here this fall. So I have been doing all kinds of organizing and whatnot in that bedroom because that extra bedroom will be his very soon. So I can show you guys a nursery tour once that is all done. But anyway, that is all we have done to this dining room. And now moving into the kitchen. So I haven't really changed up a whole lot in the kitchen. I did take down my fresh flower sign and added this boho hanger that used to be in our living room. So I just added this to the space. It's actually a pretty bare area. So that is another project that we will want to be doing very soon. But anyway, I just have that hanging there. And then these little baskets I've had here since the spring but you guys probably know that I do like to keep lavender in the spring and then in the summer as you can tell I just like the simple green touches I don't really do much of anything else so I just added some green sprigs in here once I removed the lavender now moving on to the rest of the kitchen so this vase here with the eucalyptus and the florals on the inside used to be in my dining or in my living room actually during the spring and I just replaced it and placed it in here in my kitchen so I did want to show you guys I do keep my cookbooks underneath of this tray they fit perfectly and I use those magnolia cookbooks all the time so I recently got the volume 2 and it is amazing so if you guys have not picked that up I highly suggest it I think recently it has been on super sale on Amazon for like $13 which is great because it's originally like $35 so if you do not have a copy I highly suggest you go pick that up but Anyway, so I used to have little pieces of lavender thrown on this spice rack, this spice cabinet actually, and I just took the lavender away once again and just added little pieces of greenery. So you see all the produce here. So this year, my husband and I decided to start our very first garden. So we have been able to get multiple cucumbers each week and we have cherry tomatoes. We also have a zucchini plant. So those have been coming along nicely, but I do just like to leave these on the counter and just prep them as we get them. But my mother-in-law recently went to the silos and she picked up this little berry container for us. But I, for now, am keeping my cherry tomatoes in it from our garden. Moving on to the second half of our kitchen. So not a whole lot has changed over here. I just, um, I kept this tray next to my sink. On occasion, I do like to tr switch those uh, trays around, but I kept this tray and all I did was change out, <laughs> imagine this, the lavender that I had there to this cute little greenery. So this is just a faux plant and I really do love it. But like I said, I have been getting more house plants. So you guys will see here in just a second that I have house plants by my kitchen window. I love it here. I just love the natural element and just taking care of them. It's so fun to just watch them grow. So I have that little succulent from a baby shower actually. Another little snake plant here that I love and then one of those that was in the terracotta pot was actually gifted to me last year and it is still growing really well. So hopefully I will add more house plants here soon, but for now this is what I have and I do love it. So I do seem to get questions a lot about these little canisters. I picked up these two recently from Home Goods. I picked up my first set from TJ Maxx, so they do have them at TJ Maxx and Home Goods. They are extremely affordable. I think the largest one was like $3.99, so 
very cheap, very inexpensive, and I, I see them all the time. So if you are on the lookout for some canisters, you should totally check out TJ Maxx and Home Goods. Okay, you guys, so this is a new focal piece in our kitchen. I absolutely love it. I have loved this look forever now and have been wanting to add something to this space for the longest time. And we recently completed this project, so I don't know what took us so long, but all we did was place this, it's an iron pipe. It's a towel rack, actually. We just screwed it into the side of our cabinet. This was so, so easy to do. It literally took seconds. It came with the screws and everything. So all we did was just throw that up there. And then I also ordered a little package of these hooks and then just decorated it with things that I had on hand already. So I have a hand towel that I have from Hobby Lobby. It's from the Spring Shop line this year. And then I had this little faux wreath and also, you guys will see in just a second, a DIY cutting board. So I think it looks super, super cute. And if you guys are interested in seeing how to make these cutting boards, it's not a functional cutting board just for decorative purposes only. But if you do want to see how to make those, let me know and I can do a video on that. Um, I have been wanting to do more of these because I do have plans for the fall <laughs> and yeah so if you guys want to see a video on that just let me know. And I'll also leave the pipes in the hook linked down below that way if you guys are interested you can purchase one too. Okay you guys and that is all of this summer home tour. I know it's not anything crazy different, but it's amazing what just a little bit of paint can do and just adding simple touches to your home. So I do, like I said, just like to keep things clean and simple, but overall I think everything has turned out great. And like I said, it's amazing what paint can do. So if you guys are interested in seeing more home related things for me, as far as decor and DIYs and things of that sort, Please give this video a thumbs up and any other video suggestions that you have, leave them down below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.